Highly advanced aircraft of unknown origin have been flying around in our skies for a long time, and out of the blue, a secret informant emerges, claiming that the US government has actually managed to nab some of these intact and partially intact vehicles. Whoa. Looks like we've got ourselves a real-life drama unfolding here. This informant is also sounding the alarm bells, warning that there's a joint effort from elements within the intelligence community to keep this info locked away from Congress and the American people. In other words, they don't want us to know the truth, hoping to stir up some serious concern. Hmm. I smell some juicy drama brewing. This week, we had David Charles Grush, a 36-year-old sensation, grabbing global headlines as he spills the beans to the media about what he learned during his time with the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency and National Reconnaissance Office. David Charles Grush, a veteran and former member of the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency and National Reconnaissance Office, has blown the whistle on this information, speaking with several news outlets about the crafts. These are retrieving non-human origin technical vehicles, call it a spacecraft if you will, non-human exotic origin vehicles, that have either landed or crashed, Mr. Grush told News Nation Now. If the US government has truly scooped up these non-human exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed, why can't we lay our eyes on them? Are these aircraft the real deal, or just another tall tale to distract the masses like they usually do? According to Grush, the recoveries that the U.S. government has made over the years include intact and partially intact vehicles. Now, that's a statement that adds some serious spice to this already intriguing drama, stirring up the curiosity of the sleepiest heads out there. We are not talking about prosaic origins or identities, Grush said. The material includes intact and partially intact vehicles. Grush told the debrief that analysis determined that this material is of exotic origin, meaning non-human intelligence, whether extraterrestrial or unknown origin. This assessment is based on the vehicle morphologies and material science testing and the possession of unique atomic arrangements and radiological signatures, Grush said. If we have such vehicles, I would like to see them. I am sure that you would too. But, when it comes to aliens or anything related to it, everything becomes classified, making it seem like a big secret that society isn't ready to handle the truth. Same old story. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Now, moving on. Grush claims that even Congress is being kept in the dark. An unclassified version of the complaint provided to us states that Grush has direct knowledge that UAP-related classified information has been withheld and or concealed from Congress by elements of the intelligence community to purposely and intentionally thwart legitimate congressional oversight of the UAP program. All testimony Grush provided for the classified complaint was provided under oath. If I were a member of Congress, hearing this would have me laughing out loud. Grush also says that a sophisticated disinformation campaign has been targeting the general population for years because they don't want us to know the truth either. Grush told News Nation the American public has been lied to for decades. There is a sophisticated disinformation campaign targeting the US populace, which is extremely unethical and immoral, Grush said. Those words are indeed true, absolutely true, but they sure know how to put on a show. That statement would be much better suited for something other than alien stuff, wouldn't it? They seem to feed us a little bit of truth through controversial news, like it's all a stage drama, and you can bet there will be other actors pretending to cover up that false truth to make it all more mysterious. Great. Russia submitted an official whistleblower complaint, and the intelligence community inspector general has already determined that his whistleblower complaint is credible. 
the intelligence community inspector general, found Mr. Grush's complaint to be credible and urgent in July 2022, and a summary was given to the Director of National Intelligence, Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, and the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, according to Mr. Grush. And a colleague that worked very closely with Grush says that his character is beyond reproach. Carly Nell, a recently retired Army colonel and current aerospace executive who was the Army's liaison for the UAP task force from 2021 to 2022 and worked with Grush there, characterizes Grush as beyond reproach. But of course, that doesn't mean that anything is actually going to happen. Grush could potentially become the most credible witness in world history, but that alone won't be enough to bring down this phony wall of secrecy. You can bet, our officials will keep yapping, denying, and denying some more, until they're completely tongue-tied. In fact, the Pentagon has already released a statement that is intended to get us to stop asking any more inconvenient questions. In response to the recent claims, DOD spokesperson Suko released a statement saying, to date, a RO, All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, has not discovered any verifiable information to substantiate claims that any programs regarding the possession or reverse engineering of any extraterrestrial materials have existed in the past or exist currently. A RO is committed to following the data and its investigation wherever it leads. Well, of course, a drama won't sell if it doesn't pique the curiosity of its audience. Those who are asleep will swallow up all those stories, craving even more of that fictional tale. And to top it off, we've got some truth-seeking journalist actors who are taking this story dead seriously. One of them being Tucker Carlson. He continued. In a normal country, this news would qualify as a bombshell. The news of the millennium. But in this country, it doesn't count. Carlson accused the Washington Post and New York Times of ignoring the story. There was nothing at all about how an alien species is flying hypersonic aircraft above our cities. Not one word. He said. So, if you are wondering why our country seems so dysfunctional, this is a big part of the reason. Nobody knows what's happening. With all the ingredients in place, this drama is set to take the public on a distraction-filled roller coaster ride, diving even deeper into this fictional tale. I'm just sitting here, patiently waiting for the moment when this drama amps up and becomes even more thrilling. Personally, I am entirely convinced that the stage is being set for a deception of epic proportions. This really is one of the biggest never-ending stories of the century so far, and I believe that this story is going to get a whole lot weirder in the months and years ahead. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.